In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to switch between cameras, much like we do this with multiple rigs, for one clean render. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is delete this mesh, press Shift A, and I'm going to add Suzanne as the mesh object that I'm going to use. I'm going to shade it smooth, and for my sake, I'm going to add a modifier, and it's going to be a subdivision surface modifier, and I'm going to put that on two. And there we have it. We have our mesh looking not pretty good. I'm going to open up this over here and put this on the camera, active camera view, which is this at the moment. And now I can press numpad 7. And the thing we want to do now is up here, we're going to create a new collection. We're going to call this collection camera 1. We're going to put this camera into camera 1 and rename it camera one we're going to create a new collection we're going to call this camera two we're going to take camera one press shift D to duplicate right click and then put this camera into camera two and rename it to camera two we're going to create a new collection and we're going to call this collection camera three and we're going to create click on camera two shift D right click and move this into camera three and rename it camera three. And then we're gonna create one final collection called all cameras. And we're gonna minimize all of these quickly and click on them, hold and shift, click the bottom one and drag them into all cameras. And just like that, we have a neat camera folder set up. Right, so the first thing we wanna do is press shift A, well, let's first open the all cameras, go to camera two, click on camera two, press shift A, curve, path, rotate this path 90 degrees, when we're on top orthographic view of course, G, X, numpad three, S, scale this puppy out, R, numpad seven, G, X, bring it out a little bit more, Okay, that should be roughly appropriate. And once you've got that, we're going to rename this to Camera to Path Rig. And then we're going to select Camera True, Camera Two. We're going to go to Object Data Constraints. We're going to add two constraints. The one is Follow Path, and the path we're going to follow is Camera to Path Rig. And then we're going to press G. We're going to bring this to the end here somewhere which is good, or we can bring it to this end over here, to wherever you want to start. I'm going to bring it to this end. And you can zoom in and play with this wherever you want. It doesn't really matter too much. And the second constraint we're going to have is a damped track. And we're going to use Suzanne as the damped track, and we're going to make it minus Z, so it focuses on her. Now, if you want to see what this camera sees, currently we're looking at the active camera, which is um, not showing. I don't know. So what we want to do is we select camera two over here. We hover over here into this camera viewport and we type in control numpad zero. Now we see what camera two sees, right? Which is pretty cool. It shows camera two there, which is great. And uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to click animate path. And when we move this to negative 100, it takes you to the other end, which is quite cool. All right, so we're going to make this zero. And let's add the other camera quickly before we move on. We're going to go to camera three, click on the collection, shift A, and we're going to use a circle. It's S to scale the circle out. And we're going to select camera three, hold in shift, select the circle. So the circle is light orange, control P, object. And now our camera is within this rig. And obviously when we rotate this, we can see the camera move. All right, so let's quickly, let's also make the starting point, I don't know, somewhere interesting like here. And we're gonna add one constraint to this camera. And that would just be damp track because we want it to focus on Suzanne. Negative Z and we can just, well, this camera selected, you can just press control and pad zero, and you can see cam that the camera three sees. Perfect, so let's start off with 
this camera here, camera two, control numpad zero to see what it sees. Perfect. We're going to go up here. With this timeline opened up, you want to press M to create a marker. Control M to rename the marker. I don't know why it doesn't work, but Control M, rename marker. And we're going to call this camera two. So we know that that's our starting camera. Press OK. And we've got camera two here. Now you want to, with, with this marker selected, you want to click marker, bind to, ca bind camera to marker. Boom. Now that this camera is attached to this marker. Now we can go over here to the offset and we can press, with the mouse, hover our mouse off, on the offset and press I. And let's say we want to go to frame 50. And we can make this negative 100. And we can press I. And let's say we go to frame 51. We can now press M again to get a marker. And we're going to select camera 3. So we can actually click marker, rename marker, camera 3. So you know which camera is used next in the scene. Select camera 3. Hover your mouse over here, press control numpad 0. And then click on marker, bind camera to marker. Now camera 3 is binded to this. And we can click on this rig here, and we can, which we can call rename circle rig circle camera rig we can press I for rotation and we can go to frame I guess 100 and we can rotate this to about I don't know Let's rotate it to about, it's hard to say, about there. And then we just press I, rotation, and then we go to frame 101. Once again, we press M to create a marker. Click on marker, rename marker, and we're going to call this marker camera, camera 1. Press OK. Now you need to make sure you select camera one. Hover your mouse over here. Press control numpad zero. Click on marker, bind camera to marker. And click on the object data properties for the camera. Press I on the focal length. And let's make this end at 130. And change the focal length to, I guess that, to 100 then press I again make the animation end at 140 and just like that we've created a pretty sweet animation and obviously you can if we press play you can see it switches between the cameras perfectly hope you found this tutorial useful and interesting please don't forget to like and subscribe